Hello and welcome to Sunday Chat for the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time, which happens to be October the 21st, 2018. And what we have today in our Gospel reading is a classic case of sibling rivalry. But the sibling rivalry is not between cute little children, uh, the kind of sibling rivalry that I had to deal with when my children were small, and perhaps some of you have dealt with uh, yourselves, but rather this is the ugly kind of sibling rivalry between adults. And I think the older adults get, the uglier that kind of rivalry becomes. In this particular gospel, we have James and John competing with the other 10 as to who is going to be the greatest in the reign of God. And in fact, they see themselves as entitled to being on Jesus's left and on his right. Two are bold enough to ask and the other 10 are incensed, not because of the inappropriateness of the request, but rather because they would have asked for the same thing themselves had they thought about it earlier. So Jesus has a kind of mutiny on his hands uh, a mutiny not so much of people um, you know, acting out and fighting, but rather a mutiny in terms of people, his chosen ones, moving away, drifting away from the core values he's been trying to teach them. They have tuned out all his references to the passion and death that he is facing. They have forgotten all the messages in his parables. They have somehow forgotten the message of the Beatitudes. They have no longer remembered the, the power of Jesus' healing miracles. Instead, they see the magic, the wonder, the commercial, uh, the commercial possibilities of Jesus, in fact. Perhaps they can harness his commercial power and make themselves rich and recognized in the process. What they're looking for is fame, power, uh, wealth, being better than everybody else, and universal acclaim. And that's why it's so very, very ugly. But what about us? What are we looking for? How do we evaluate ourselves? How do we evaluate our mission in life? Do we measure ourselves by our outward successes, by what we have, by what we do, by the awards we have received, by the recognition we have received, by the resumes we hold? The sad thing is that when we measure ourselves by external realities, such as achievements and, and property, then the ego is unsatiable. It wants more and more. I think it's insatiable. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we want, we want, we want, it's late. So forgive my grammar, um, my grammar glitches here. We become insatiably greedy for material things. Um, and the more we feed the ego with the desire for, um, for power and goods, the more the ego wants. And so Peter and James and John and all the others want those two positions. There are 12 of them all wanting the same two positions. Um, and uh, they're completely missing the point. They are more than they know. They've forgotten who they are. They see themselves as material beings who grow greater, materially speaking, with possessions and achievements, they are greedy, insatiably so, for the public recognition. They think that sitting on the right and left of Jesus will bring them, but what they miss is that their true selves are not the, the selves that own, or the selves that have achieved, or the selves that have a little glory rubbed off on them because they associate with Jesus, but rather their true selves are made in the image and likeness of God. And as children of God, they are equal one with the other, equally deserving or non-deserving as the case may be of those two seats on the right and the left of Jesus, which are not his to give anyway. Are we like that? Do we look at externals to validate who we are? Do we crave more and more public recognition? Or are we content to rest in God and to allow our definition to be the presence of God within ourselves. Not something we aspire to, but something that is God-given. Something that has nothing to do with our worth, but everything to do with God's grace. So I will leave you with that thought about sibling rivalry and ego drives, and look forward to seeing you next Sunday. 
So from Sunday chat, goodbye for today and be well.